Hello, and welcome to the Stella Life Innovator Series. I'm Liz Lundry, and today we're featuring Dr. Jeremy Ueno. Dr. Ueno, a periodontist, is the founder and owner of the Ueno Center Dental Specialists in Campbell, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley. His busy and progressive practice features multiple surgical specialists backed by an exceptional team. He's passionate about education and is a national and international lecturer and leads several study clubs. This passion for education, as well as his own health journey, prompted him to write this book called Oral Fitness to guide his patients to understand the oral systemic link and help them make lifestyle choices to ensure better overall health. We are very proud to present Dr. Jeremy Ueno. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Ueno. I'm a periodontist here in Campbell, California, uh, which is in the heart of Silicon Valley. I uh, really want to thank Seth Settle Life for giving me the opportunity to talk about the new book that I just launched uh, in September. Um, it is sold on Amazon. It's called Oral Fitness. And so just want to be able to talk about uh, how I feel like this can help a lot of people's practices, patients, and also family members. So I think it's a, a really important thing for education overall. In terms of our um, relationship with Cellulife, we are a surgical office, and so we've been using Cellulife um, for the last about year and a half now, and it's changed a lot of our patients' lives in terms of their recovery. They like that it's a natural homeopathic uh, medication as well. And being in California, people really like that a lot. Um, with that, we're seeing less inflammation, better post-op healing, uh, and so our relationship with Cellulife has, has been phenomenal since we've, we've been working with them. Um, that being said, I know that they're also very into the oral systemic link. As a periodontist, um, we are very in tune to the oral systemic link. And that's the kind of motivation for myself to write this book. Um, this book kind of talks about my journey uh, going through my dental training, going through my residency and learning about the oral systemic link, uh, and then going into private practice. I was 30 years old when I started private practice. and so. Uh, the oral systemic link was something that I, I knew about, I studied on, but you know it's something that I didn't really live because you know I was I was young, I was I was healthy at that time, and so um, for me it's something that I felt like I, I talked about, but I wasn't able to connect with my patients really on it because I was just talking about it. Uh, in my early years of uh, practice, you know we got really busy with the office, just like anyone that starts their own practice. And with that, you know, started a family at that time as well. And I let my health go during that time. Um, you know, I gained probably about 60 pounds uh, in, in a couple of years. And a lot of that was, I tore my Achilles playing basketball. I had two different surgeries there um, and I got complacent. And with that, you know, I was in my mid to late thirties and I was put on cholesterol medication. I was put on uh, medication for my hypertension. And I just felt like I was, too young to be on these types of medications. Um, and so I had to go through a journey of my, my own to become healthy again. And that went through um, finding a trainer, doing the right exercise routines, got a nutritionist to kind of teach me uh, how to eat properly. Um, and so all that together, as I went through my journey from becoming unhealthy to healthy, it really made a lot of these things click in, in, in terms of uh, the oral systemic connection because you know I actually just lived that journey. I lived a journey of a body full of inflammation. I lived a journey of being unhealthy and, and, and um, knowing how it feels to be unhealthy. And for me, I felt like I was living a lie if I'm talking to patients about this oral systemic link. If I'm talking to patients about being healthier, yet I wasn't doing myself. So. Um, with that journey, it just really, like I said, a kind of light bulb went off into my head and I was able to connect with patients more with that. Um, a few of my associates are very well versed and also my, um, uh, some, of my, some of my hygienists are very well versed in terms of the oral systemic link. And so with that, um, you know, we just kind of started talking and how we can implement this more into our, into our office. Um, you know, it's one of those things with the oral systemic link that all of us dentists, all the hygienists, a lot of people on the dental team have heard about, have read about, have seen videos on, um, but talking about it's a lot more difficult and connecting with people, having good hard information about it, um, facts about uh, what, what the oral systemic link is, research on it as well. 
know, it's something that I think we fall short on. So we're like, oh, you know what? You have gum disease. So, you know, that worsens diabetes. But, but why? You have gum disease. You can have increased risk of heart disease. Yeah, but your patient's like, why? Why? And so I know a lot of people have that issue where once that question gets asked, that becomes kind of uh, an area where they stall. And so what I wanted to do was put together a book then that talked about my journey as, as one part of, of why this hits home for me now and then how that then relates to our field, to our patients. Uh, it's something that we as healthcare professionals can read. It's easy reading. Our, our dental team can read. It helps them with their education on the oral systemic link. And most importantly, our patients can read it. And we've been giving this book to all of our patients that come into the office now. Um, and it's, it's an easy book to read and it gives them a lot of information on their specific issue that they may have. So in this book, uh, there's multiple chapters and each chapter does hit on, say, a different oral systemic link. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to have really good friends and family members who wanted to um, contribute to this. Uh, so um, one of my associates, she wrote a portion of this. My, my cousin, some good friends of mine also wrote portions of this. So every chapter we start off with a story. And so um, the story, the, the chapter that re relates to heart disease starts off with the story of, of myself where I was actually at a um, dental convention in Las Vegas and it was about oral systemic um, health. And on the flight back, there was um, a male, an Asian male in his early 40s. I was in my late 30s at this time and he was with his family, with his uh, couple kids and he had a heart attack on the plane. And I just remember um, everyone was giving them CPR for the whole plane ride. Um, at the very end, they had uh, the uh, emergency team come on and they pronounced him dead on the scene. And it was eye opening for me to just come back from a conference where they discussed oral systemic health and someone that was pretty much my age with, with the family uh, just die on an airplane. And so uh, seeing things like that really kind of opens your eyes and, and makes you think, you know, if, if something was caught earlier, could, could something, could something have, could have been done for this person. If someone intervened earlier with education for this person, could have, could have changed their life. Um, there's a chapter on pregnancy. So my good friend, Dr. Lorna Okada has her story on pregnancy uh, in, in, in there and how, then we discuss how say gum disease affects pregnancy. Uh, my cousin Brad Tanimura in Hawaii, he has a chapter on uh, cancer. So his mom, my aunt, you know, she passed away of cancer. So he talks about, you know, that his journey with that. And that kind of leads into that whole story as well. Um, so when I read this book myself, it, it does bring back a lot of memories for me just because it, it does, it, it is personal. A lot of the stories in here are personal. Um, they are close friends, family members that have contributed. So it, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, but I also think the education portion is, going to, education portion is, is, is very uh, good for our patients and for our team. Um, personally, you know, another thing that hits home for me is, is autism. My, my oldest son is autistic and we had learned, my wife is a dentist and we had learned through our um, airway training that, you know, pregnant mothers who have airway issues can also have increased race, rates of children with autism. And, you know, my wife's a, a mouth breather and she does have uh, upper airway restriction. And so that kind of also gave me inspiration uh, in terms of the way I practice and in terms of what we wrote in the book as well. So there's a lot of talk about airway in here. Uh, the way we practice in, in, in our office is a complete health type setting where um, a patient comes in and we don't just talk about their teeth. We talk about what we see in the mouth and how that can affect the rest of their body. So just yesterday we had some consultations and I had a consultation just on recession. And for the first 10 minutes, we didn't even talk about recession. We talked about, you know, why the recession may have happened because of say airway issues, because let's say we're, the, the teeth weren't aligned correctly. There's not enough tongue space. We take a CT out of the airway software we can, where we can see the, the size of the airway. So, you know, our practice is really based upon making people healthier. And more importantly, we wanna make the kids healthier. And so my associate, Dr. Bowie, she's very good at, um, treating tongue ties. So we deal with a lot of tongue ties. Uh, she does a lot of um, tongue tie release with the, with the laser and also with the Zagi te te technique as well. Uh, we send patients to myofunctional therapists. We have a great connection with ENTs, oral surgeons, and great orthodontists in the area. Um, so what we build is a team to help um, treat these patients effectively and 
Again, we're going above and beyond just regular dentistry. So my heart and soul is in here. Uh, this is what we believe in in our, in our practice, not just myself, not just the associates, not just the hygienists, but the entire team. Um, we want to make our patients healthier. We want to make a better future for the children that are here as well. Um, I really encourage everyone out there to get a copy, see if they like it. If they feel like it's something that's good for their patients, offer it to their patients as well. Um, again, I think this is really great for our patients because it, it is easy reading. We do put everything in, in a lot of uh, lay terms uh, so people can, can understand it. But again, thank you for your time. Really appreciate you guys uh, chiming in or turning in here and uh, taking a look and considering the, the book here. It is sold on Amazon. It's called Oral Fitness. Again, I'm Dr. Jeremy Ueno and have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Ueno. When I heard about the book, I got my own copy from Amazon and I found it to be an enjoyable read with great information and compelling personal experiences. As a clinician and educator, I think this is a great resource and we should give this to each of our patients. If we don't help our patients understand the role inflammation plays and how they can take action, which includes accepting our treatment plans, then we're just spinning our wheels we are treating symptoms with a temporary fix. So let's be a part of the revolution for complete health dentistry. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe.